You want to build an amazing looking Salesforce diagram in less than three minutes? Hi everyone, I'm Tom Letty and I'm an architect evangelist at Salesforce. This video is part of our Getting Started with Salesforce Diagrams video series. And diagrams are amazing tools for communication and collaboration, but they can take some time to build. And you're not going to always want to start from scratch every time you need to create a new one. So in today's video, we're going to walk through the steps to create a Salesforce diagram from a Lucidchart template. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start on the Lucidchart home screen. Let's go to the Templates menu and type Salesforce into the search box. Now, templates are a paid feature in Lucidchart, but the nice thing is that if you have a paid account, you don't have to install anything extra to get them. Let's go ahead and select the System Landscape template. Now, you'll see this pop up with a description that you can read to make sure you chose the right one, and when you're ready, you just click Use Template. And now that our template is loaded, all we have to do is update the components to make them relevant to our own organization. So let's change our diagram name and title. And we're going to replace this box with a Salesforce logo. Now this is a good time to mention that if you don't see the Salesforce shapes in your palette, you can check out our Salesforce shapes and Lucidchart video to learn how to add them. All right, now let's update our external systems. So let's call this one HR, and maybe our inventory management and fulfillment systems are combined into one system that we just call supply chain. And maybe we only have three systems. We don't need these other two, so let's go ahead and get rid of them and recenter the ones that we do have. And let's say that Heroku is also part of our organization's landscape. Now, Heroku isn't in this template, but we can easily add a card and a connector for it, and then we can give it a name and add a Heroku product logo, too. And that's it. We just created a system landscape diagram from a template and customized it for our organization. All right, there's one last thing that I want to show you. So now that we've made all these updates, we might decide that we want this to be the starting point for any future diagrams we create since we've already added all the customizations we need. And we can do that really easily by making our customized diagram into its own template. Let's click File, Convert to Template. And now we'll pick a category. And we're going to select Salesforce architecture diagrams for this demo, but you should pick whatever is the most relevant for your template. And now we're going to add our description. And if we want, we can check this box to lock our template down so that other people can't update it. And that's all you have to do. Now you can use this just like any other template, and you can also share it with other people in your organization who might want to use it too. Okay, so to wrap things up, today we covered how to use Lucidchart templates to build Salesforce diagrams and how to create your own templates. Make sure to like this video if you found this content to be helpful and make sure to subscribe to our channel too. We have a bunch of other great videos about creating Salesforce diagrams and you're not gonna wanna miss any of them. Also, we'd love your feedback. Let us know in the comments if you like this video, if there are any other topics that you'd like to see us cover or if you use what you learned in this video to build your own diagram. Looking forward to seeing you next time.